first one that I did was in 1963. But when they did that article from the Post Standard, it was 1965. Mm -hmm. Well, I think one was uh, has, at, at our house been very successful. Were you were you satisfied with it? Uh, the way it yes. Came out? Mm -hmm. I had to make some changes. I mean, I had to work on it to get it to come right. And sometimes I don't have to. But yes, I was satisfied with yeah, it. If you were. Oh yes, very you Go much around so. there. It looks like that, except they just cut that tree down. A big tree. Did they? Yes. And yeah, they've, uh, they've, apparently those posts rotted, and they took those off. Well, those are iron. Have they taken no, those off? No, no, these here, the uh, oh, porch. Oh, yeah. Uh, I put them, you see, with the wooden ones. Well, that's the, the way you, you remember I think it. they cut this one out, too. I hmm. think just last week they've done yeah, these they've two trees. Yeah, they've taken all those planks. It wasn't so sharp with the trees in. I, I talked to uh, my aunts about this woman that you remember, and I think it was Ooh. Aunt Addie, they, they oh, called her. Uh -huh. uh, Adelaide, who, who was uh, Giles Newton, uh, Newton that? Case's second uh -huh. wife, uh -huh. who, who uh, inherited the house after uh -huh. he died. Uh -huh. And they, she used to dress that way. Uh -huh. She dressed in black. Yeah. She always came to church. She sat in front of us, a little old lady, always with a black hat and a black cape, mm. black dress. That's as I remember. Mm -hmm. When you usually use, uh, like the things that I gave you for this, a photograph or a, a print or something of, of a, when you, particularly when you're working on a building, don't you? That, mm -hmm. I use them. Yes, to, you know, as to yes, help uh, you. But we went around and took pictures of it, too, mm -hmm. and used the whole combination. Then I had to go around there four or five times, take a look at the house, because you'd be surprised. You just don't get the details mm -hmm. in the little snapshots. Do you, uh, do you usually do go that far if you can, to go, you know, go to that much trouble? If, uh, well, if it's something I'm fussy about, yes. Mm -hmm. Do you tend to remember in your uh, will you keep these details in your mind when you get back to the your board and your drawing board? Well, not always, but yeah. I try to. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I write them down. For instance, if I want to know what the colors of the door, are, uh, the front door is, and the blinds and like that, I write it down because I, I my memory isn't very good. Now, like this painting here, you're you're working from a, I'm from working a from print. This is the Erie Canal. Now I don't know what colors those buildings are, so I'll have to work on it till I get something that pleases me. Now, how did you get from what's here to there? Did you measure and? Uh, all these things up, or you just draw well, there I, what you saw? Yes, if you take your brush like that, uh -huh. and there you can tell whether this is half, so the right proportions. Mm -hmm. I don't always get the right proportions, but I try to. Mm -hmm. I'll be back in an hour. Okay. Is that got a date on it? No, I got that down at um, Fonda. Uh, an antique dealer down there hmm. um, had a, a book, the old history book, but it was pretty well in pieces, and there wasn't much left in it. It looks like one of the one of the atlas. It is, yeah. mm -hmm. but there wasn't much left of it in the book, and since then he's died. So I don't know. All the antique dealers are dying. I, I imagine that was 1878, but I'm not sure. That's about the period of those mm -hmm. things, yeah. Do you, do you ever work entirely from uh, from memory or, or not? Oh, or, yes. Yeah. yeah. And this one, right back to you there, I didn't have anything to go on there. 
All I had was a, a picture of a bridge beyond Scranton, Pennsylvania, the Nicholson Bridge. Oh, yes. I had a, a picture of that. And as, as you're going to Scranton, you see all these little houses in the hills. And that's, I had somebody that wanted a, a painting with a railroad and people in it. So I combined the whole thing, but it's an, entirely from memory. Nothing, it's made up. Do you think that the ones like that that you make up turn out looking different from the ones where I would say you no. go from this picture, they all come no. out about the same? Only sometimes I make mistakes in paintings and I have to cover them up mm -hmm. with, mm -hmm. add something to it that wouldn't be in the original painting. I see. Now this one right over here, uh, it's a young tree that used to be on the corner of our property out here. And uh, I had a picture of the tree, but I didn't have a picture of anything else. But of course, the I could go out in the yard and get the buildings and the cemetery and like that from it. But the picture is all made up by me. Mm. But, but as, as you remember it. As I remembered, about mm. 1910. You, you see, this is the peculiar thing. These are things that I remember when I was a, a little girl. Mm. I noticed that that's been, has it been re-stretched on the, it's canvas, isn't it? Which? This one behind us with the no, tree. No, it's on wood. Oh, it's a wooden board, I mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. oh, what did you think it was the um, Well, I'm, I'm looking at the sides, and I see they're painted on the sides. And I haven't got my glasses on. That would fall. But it looks like it was re-stretched, on it, no, which will sometimes will I, cut I it. I paint on the sides. Well, yeah, that's an interesting thing, that's too, interesting. is that you go all I don't know if anybody else would say that, no, but I, I do. No, that's interesting. <laughs> it gives it more depth. Mm -hmm. it I had a little painting on about like that, about that wide. It, it was, I did it on wood. And it was the Staunton Farm um, up uh, above Bardina in the Spafford Side Hills. Well, now, we had a camp up in that section uh, below this house. And uh, my husband and I were driving down East Hill from the city one night, and we looked over that way, and we could see this big fire. Well. Um, my husband said, I guess we'd better drive up there and see, because that's in the vicinity of our camp. So we drove far enough to see that it wasn't uh, our camp, but it was this Staunton farmhouse that burned, and it burned right to the ground. Well, I let's see, did I have a picture? The picture of it was in the history book, the county mm -hmm. history book. So I did a painting um, of that farm, and it was on this board. Well, when I got done, it just looked awful. Uh, the board, the border that I put on it, it pinched the, the whole thing right up. It didn't look right. So I put a different color border on it. It still didn't look right. So then I, uh, I didn't know what I was going to do. So somebody said, suggested that I paint the sides, just continue the uh, fence and the um, scenery on the sides, and I did, and it came out wonderful. Hmm. Well, there was a dealer yeah. all right, in um, Tennessee, Hi. and she, uh, she uh, is a decorator, and she had bought paintings from me. And uh, she called up and she said, send me something that's typically New York State. So I sent her that painting. Well, she isn't going to sell it. Hmm. She just likes it so much. Well, I liked it so much. Charlie Chips. No, I another one. Because in the meantime, somebody had come in here and they had seen that painting on the wall out here. And um, they sent their mother uh, to buy that painting. Well, I had sold it to this other woman in the meantime, but I said, I'll do you another one because I hadn't shipped the painting. And so I did the second one for this fellow who lives in, in New York City. 
it came out just as good as the first one, but was I don't have a copy of it. Was it like the first one? I mean, yes. if somebody came to you and said, uh, it's, it's like I've it. seen this painting and, and you've already sold it, but I'd like another one just like it. It was just like the other one, only it was about an inch larger all the way mm -hmm. around. It came out just like the other one. Do you uh, sign and date your paintings? I don't date them, but I sign them. Sign. Maybe I should date them, I don't know. Mm -hmm. In other words, if you say if someone wanted a duplicate, you could almost do it from memory? I couldn't do it from memory, but I keep a tracing of every painting I do. Oh, I see. You can, you can account just about where every painting is today. Every painting of any importance. Mm -hmm. I've mm -hmm. got all the tracings. How many of you ever have you ever totaled up the amount of paintings you've done through the years? I don't know how many paintings I've done, but mm -hmm. I've sold 265 mm -hmm. paintings. <laughs> well, you, you Which they tell me is a good number. Yes, I don't know. I, it is pretty good. Well, Some you, of them weren't very high in price, and the highest one was a hundred and a quarter. That was one that I did uh, just about a year ago now, and it was handsome. It mm. really was, and it was it was that big and that wide, a uh, fireboard size. That's what I called it, a fireboard. Mm. Three and a half feet by two and a half feet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it, it was a landscape, and I had a a steam engine going up the river, and I had a monastery in it, and <laughs> mm. I had a lot of little buildings. And, and the trees were peculiar that were in it. They weren't like any trees you ever saw. How do you place a value, say you, um, the most expensive painting, um, once you get done with it, you have a particular feeling for a certain painting and someone wants it, so there's a certain value, or do you value it in its size? Or no, perhaps I time? just put a price on it. The smaller ones you can't get as much for as the bigger ones. I have no, if I counted my time, I probably wouldn't get very much. But I'm doing this not just for the selling the paintings, but it's a health major. You see, I've been in the hospital. Uh, I was in the hospital six weeks, and uh, this was, let's see, two years ago. And they didn't think I'd live, because one more, I had a stroke and I couldn't speak while I was in the hospital. And I had heart failure. Don't put all this down now. Let me ask you this, Mrs. Cummings. You, if you take a idea from a photograph, for, I presume this is the Erie Canal, uh -huh. and then you get, you say you absolutely lose yourself in time when you're painting. Mm -hmm. If you remember a particular instance in your childhood, would you put it in a painting? I don't think I would put it in a painting like this. No, because it, it wouldn't be natural to this. Uh, the scene. Mm. If I, um, some photographs I would, yes, because I put these children in them, mm -hmm. and it just, some of the people that I get in them, I get way too small out of proportions because I get carried away. I just uh, don't realize they should be bigger, you know, and I'm painting away and painting these kids and things in there. And <laughs> mm. Now you you have uh, have you got the one of the causeway or what? Yeah, I, I'll sh maybe it would help them more if I showed them all the paintings so they'd know what we were talking about. Well, we walk about. around and, sure. and look at them. Now that's one of the tennis club picnic. We used to have a tennis court down here in the corner of our yard, and they had a, a tennis club, and this is the tennis club, and there were. Uh, children or friends, and they were going on a picnic, and the only way that they could get to the foot of Atisca Lake, which is that lake, mm -hmm. is uh, by the m &OL Railroad, or else by buggy, horse and buggy. Well, they took, uh, uh, they went on this m &OL Railroad up the foot of the lake, and that's the tourist boat, the Fontney. And I did that. I had a picture of the people. Now, they didn't look just like I've got them in there. And I had a picture of the railroad. I had a picture of the boat. 
And I went up there, and of course I've seen this for years, you know, but mm -hmm. when you go to put it on paper, it's a little different. You don't remember the things like you think you would. And I uh, did it from that. Mm -hmm. I made it up. Why are the boys waving their arms at the end of the dock? Well, they're waving me. to the people, the, who, the person who took the picture. I see. Okay. It, mm -hmm. The one who, see all these people are looking this way, and somebody is out here painting them, or, or taking a picture of them, good, good. and they're waving. Now, where is little Ruth in here? Well, I'm a... I'm right there. In the red dress. Yeah, the doesn't front. look like me, but the, these people mm -hmm. I put in to represent something. Mm -hmm. If I had to sit down and do a person like, if I had to do your picture, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do anything like that. Mm -hmm. Now that one, I don't know, people had seemed to want that so much and I didn't want to sell it. Mm -hmm. So last Christmas, or it wasn't Christmas, it was November, uh, this friend of mine said she wanted that ever so much for her husband for Christmas. Well, I said, Dorothy, uh, I've been thinking about doing another one. And she said, will you let me have it if you do? And I said, yes, if it comes out good. And I thought that wasn't going to help me any to have one to sell, so I did two. <laughs> huh. <laughs> well, my son from Washington, uh, he came up and he said, yeah, you saw those paintings? I said, only one of them. And he said, what are you going to ask him for them? And I said, $95. And he didn't say anything, but the next morning he came down and he said, well, I'll take the second one. And he said, I'll pay you just what you're paying Dorothy. Of course, I didn't charge him that much, but mm -hmm. uh, he took the second one. Well, I didn't leave me any to sell. That's so, where it started. <laughs> so um, this summer, late this summer, well, in the meantime, I had I told this story to people who came in, and they said, "Put me down number one if you ever do another one." And somebody else came in. And he said, "Put me down for number two." Uh -huh. And I said, "Well, I don't think I'm ever going to do any more of those." And somebody else came in and they said, well, I'm number three on that painting if you ever do it again. Well, uh, last, uh, let's say fall, I did two more of the paintings. And I thought, well, uh, I'll call these people and tell them that I've done it. Well, I called the first number one on it came and uh, bought the painting. She hasn't paid for it yet, but she, she will because she bought others. And uh, I haven't called the other two people, so I still got the two paintings of it. But one I want to keep mm -hmm. that I, I don't want to sell, and the other one I'll just as soon sell. Once you start with one like this, do you work all the way through on, on one? No. Or do you have several? With sometimes, I, sometimes I have to put them away for a year, and I'll show you one that I worked on for a long time. I couldn't do anything with it. Just put them away and then sometime it'll just come to you what to do do with them. Do you, do you feel that you get any uh, inspiration or ideas from looking at other paintings, other people's paintings? No, this is something that I've been told many times like? not to look at other paintings mm -hmm. or not to read anything on paintings. Oh, I see. I was because going to say, it's just going to spoil it's what you've got. If you had a favorite artist who maybe yeah. was a different style and so forth, but you No, I just don't pay any attention to what anybody else has done. Because uh, I, I've just been cautioned about that so mm. many times. I now, let's see. This is oh, this I put on your list, too. Now, I didn't do the drawing. Mr. Gilbert, who has since died, did the drawing. But I did the um, colored part of this, which shows how my Marcellus sections of the properties that Marcellus was formed from. And all this pink part here is our farm. Now, we don't own all that now because it's been uh, developed. But this is the stone property, the next property over. 
How much was that originally? The Our farm? Yeah, the ours farm. was 90 acres. 90 acres. And this is the Wilson property up in the south part. And this is the Catholic Cemetery here. And this is the Bradley section here. And these other ones are all small ones. I don't know uh, mm -hmm. where they, um, where, what tract they were developed from or what parts of the land. Mm -hmm. But this is the Moore property, the yellow over here, which is the other side of the village. But it shows how Marcellus was uh, developed. Mm -hmm. That is uh, the head of the Pisco Lake. It's the causeway up there oh, with yes. all these the little buildings. Are. Now this is entirely out of my head. But there, there is remnants of the causeway still there. Yes, the cause. this here, this is there, but not any top. And I don't think there ever was a top on it. Mm -hmm. I, did, I put that in to make sure that they'd see it was a bridge. <laughs> I noticed you didn't paint the edges of this painting. No, I didn't. That, I don't always. Hmm. Uh, this was a breadboard, and it came out much darker than I expected it would. That's that's the chance you take when you're doing mine wood. You don't know how mm -hmm. the wood's going to come out. Now, was this an old breadboard when you started? Mm-hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. And did you varnish no, the over I, it? No, I shellacked them, oh, sure. and then I, um, I'm telling you my secrets. <laughs> <laughs> then I rubbed them down with pumice and oil and shellacked them again and rub them down again. And then if you look across them and you see a spot where that is sinking in, then you have to uh, put another coat on them until you get them with, with a sheen that you want. Do you put a backing on the painting? If you use a breadboard, you put a No, you don't coat. put any, anything on the back. You immediately start painting your colors in then. On here, you mean? Yes. Well, a grout, Lately, they call it. I, if I'm using polymer paint, and that's what that is, I um, do put a coat on there, or something that you put on that's for polymer paints. No, I didn't used to do that, and sometimes I would get into trouble, lose my colors would sink in, right into the and I'd have to do the colors over again. That's the Fontenay Bolt, the same one that you see over there. It's a nice air view or perspective. No, I didn't start out to do anything like this. I started out to make a pond here. And I thought, well, what do I want in the picture with a pond in it? And all of a sudden, this just grew. <laughs> now, this one over here is just out of my head. And this one's called Jack's Rooster. And this one belongs to my son. He's crazy about that. Mm, it's really nice. mm. I understand you have a picture of a rooster with a sailboat in the background. Tiny little boat. I did have. I don't think I have now. Mm. Is that one? Of the, that was in the article, wasn't it? I think that's. That was in the standard. yeah, but I don't have that. I did that one five times. Um, I did it for my grandson. was next to his great grandfather's place. Now I don't know who had the mill. Maybe you do. Well, he had it one time, but it went through a number of hands after. Oh, was he the first one? I don't even know whether he built it or not. I don't know mm -hmm. if there is anything accurate. Well, I can remember that. the ruins of this building. It burned, and uh, when I was a little girl, I can remember the ruins of it. And I had a couple of pictures, not in colors, that I took this from. But one interesting thing about this one is that the original one that I did is in the, one of the embassy buildings in London. <laughs> now, it, it's a better painting than this one. Mm -hmm. Some way or other, the colors in this aren't as good as that other one. As it, the other has a different feeling. Is that on paper or? It's on Illustrator's board. Who makes the beautiful frames? <laughs> Roy Simmons. Yeah. He makes I, them for me. I noticed all the, they're all burled or... Yeah, 
on there harder than the devil to get yeah. the nails to I stick bet. in the back of them. <laughs> Is that rock maple or something? Yes. That's, yeah, that's burl. Yeah. Burl. 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 Burl maple. Yeah. Now we'll go on. Just finished. Yeah. Skinny Atlas, you will recognize it. Mm -hmm. And this is Roosevelt Hall. Right, right, yeah. And this is the uh, road on the west side. Now, I can remember when we were first in the antique business of selling to the hazards, it would, would be this house because it was yellow, uh, antiques. Hmm. And I can remember this house too. Now these aren't in the This one isn't, because I did it from memory. Really, the little help that the map gave me wasn't much help at all. But it's only inaccurate in terms of perspective. I mean, there are buildings like that. There are buildings in, in like this, but I think there are two more. And there is a bank building right along in here. But I didn't know whether there was a bank building at the time that I wanted this label, 1910. I don't know when the bank was started. And the, the balloon you said was I'll just, just a put that in for balance. Now what? That's the Presbyterian Church sticking up there. Do you have any sort of uh, technique or rule that you go by for balance, or is it just that no, feels just like it needs something up there? If it mm -hmm. needs something, you put something you put in. in. Well, like in this one, you felt that the, in terms of color, because you can't see the colors here, that this, this tree should be lighter than uh, to, to balance off the, 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 the darker. I wouldn't have had to put those rubs in there. Well, you could to go on at all. It's all my imagination. Mm -hmm. And I, I put the, I wanted the big ducks, because as you drive around this way and down the road, uh, past this lake, there's, there are always ducks mm -hmm. there, and there's always this uh, marsh here with the rush. And you look across and you see Cuga Village. Well, I got the wrong label on it. I've got the, Seneca Lake on it, and it shouldn't be Cuga Lake, so I'll have yeah. to change it. And, uh, but it's entirely from memory. That's good. But again, this is on a, looks like a breadboard. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see. Oh. That's the tenant house over on Rockefeller Road. And by the way, you can get a good story out of that. You just find this man. Cornell University. Oh, I remember you telling me yeah. about that, yeah. And uh, the original house that the Rockefellers lived in was 
was back of it, they tell me, on a hill. And it burned, and they moved down into this house for the time being. Mm -hmm. And this one over here is my granddaughter's home. Um, over at Memphis. But you're not going to have this one. You're going to have a better one than this one is. You're going to have the one that uh, Mrs. MacArthur uh, bought. She put a little bit to it. It's better than this one. I've done this, let's see. I did the original one, which was the first one of the big paintings that I did. I didn't know whether I could do it or not, but I did, and it came out real good. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to sell it. So uh, my son wanted it, the one that's in Washington. And he said, oh, will you do one for me? I didn't want to let him have that one. And I said, yes, I'll do one, but it probably won't come out like the first one. Well, um, then there, this Mrs. MacArthur in Syracuse wanted the original one. Well, I said, I, I just don't want to sell it. And uh, she said, well, how about doing one for me? I said, I'll, I'll, I'll do one, but I said, I don't won't guarantee it'll come out just like the original one. So I did one for her. It came out real good, but it's not, it's not like this. It's not like the original one either. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but she said she'd loan it anyway. Well then, let's see, I, these people in Connecticut, Connecticut came in, and they wanted that painting. And I said, well, I said, I'm going to do another one, maybe two more. One for myself and one to sell. Mm -hmm. And I said, if I do that, you can have the original one. So they bought the original one. Well, then a doctor down in Philadelphia bought uh, the other one that I did. And now I have this one, but I think this is the poorest one of the whole lot that I did, that I kept for myself. Here's one here, uh, and this was a, it's a model of this dress that was worn by the Vice President of the United States uh, at the inaugural ball of President I had the dress, and I, I did four copies of this. I wanted one myself, and I sold one to um, the dealer that bought the dress from me. <laughs> and then, uh, I don't know if there's much else to tell you about that. What else did I sell? I sold one to... Uh, that artist out in Casanova, what's his name? He played football. Jim Ridlow. Yes. Uh-huh. Oh, that looks like pencil. No, it didn't. It, it's all watercolor. Oh, I see, yes. 
Very fine, the arms, very finely done. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the old uh, Lawless paint down at the falls. It's no longer in existence. It looks just like it did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just like it did. It's on wood. Is this a new one? Yeah, I wish you'd take a p picture of that. Oh, that's oh, great. That's great. I that's love our that. Front porch. Oh, for goodness sake. Mm -hmm. Look out there and see. Is that, uh... Well, it's still polymer paint on the filling on the bottom of the dresser drawer. Oh. <laughs> That's one I, I, I haven't seen. You couldn't get any more of that. Are you going to loan this for the exhibit? Yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. That's great. Yeah. Are those, all made up, you know, are those particular made, people? Or no, no they're just people I put in. I kept adding them and adding them until I got them. Look good. And the idea of that came from uh, Christmas before when they sang carols to me out here on the They're primitive. They aren't a real artist job. No, I like that very much. That's I don't consider myself an artist. I just call myself a painter. Because lots of times I can't put down what I feel. What I, what I want to put on the, the paper or the board doesn't come out the way I want it to. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's on the list. She won't loan it to you, though. She won't? No. She's not letting that penny out of the house. There's the one with the sailboats. That's similar to the one you have in the kitchen. Uh -huh. no, it's the same yeah. rooster. It's the sailboats. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think there's some rocks and some flowers and balances. You like the sailboats in it better? I'm curious why the sailboats are in it. That's Other than to balance it out, why did you choose sailboats? That's, that's well, I don't know, because I... My sons are sailors, I guess. Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's a very good reason. Very good reason. I wish I could get this one, but I can't. It's out in Kansas. Hmm. I, I did two yes, of us, and the one's in Kansas, and the one is Jim Clary's down in Connecticut. Are these small ones part of a, a series? Or no. Or just something I just do them because some, some people want something that's kind of expensive. Like this. Mm -hmm. I just do them to of the big ones for me at a time, and then he does 12 of these at a time. The mountains come down, and Lake George Village is on one side there, and I think I can make it interesting, the steamboats and everything going down Lake Champlain, or Lake George. And uh, I told somebody, just like I'm talking to you, that that's what I have in mind. He says, I want the painting when you get it done. <laughs> It would take you different lengths of time to finish a painting then, depending on how, how fast you 
work done. Yeah, that some of them don't come out just right, and I have to fuss with them. What would be, do you remember the shortest time I ever oh, took no. you? I don't even remember that. But it's not a matter of just doing one in a couple of days. And, uh, no, I couldn't do one in two days, and that's it's a very tiny one here. Mm -hmm. uh, these little ones here are cute, they're sold, but they're kind of cute. And everybody that sees them wants them. And, um, a man wanted them for his wedding anniversary, which was the 29th of December. And I said I'd do them for him. Mm -hmm. I had them done at six o'clock that day as the wedding anniversary for him. <laughs> well, you, you you haven't tried any any books like, like like that recently, have you? The, 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 they those don't sell very well. With me. That's why. I See those frames that those birds are in are the ones that he brought me out that I want to make the smaller ones. Mm -hmm. And you see they don't look yeah. as well. Yeah. No, no, they don't have the, the feel. Way, but they don't feel the same. <laughs> I see. Oh, so, uh, I wasn't very enthusiastic about it. It's not a about very it. inspirational. I don't think. <laughs> I like, I just like to paint, that's all. But I don't like to paint oils. Why? Is it a little slow or a little sticky? Oh, you get all daubed up with the paint and they're forever drying. Yeah, they are. No, I don't see what it is. This one, uh, this is an example of one that you just saw the print and decided this this would make an interesting Yeah, and it's the Erie Canal. And anything on the Erie Canal or about the Erie Canal, there's a demand for it. Mm -hmm. The same as with cats. Cats? And strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> cats and strawberries together? Or no, separate. Separate. <laughs> separate. Mm -hmm. mm. You must remember the canal, obviously, and then uh, be one of your more favorite themes. Besides well, the you think it's the nostalgia of I could, the I past couldn't canal? I do anything on the Erie Canal from memory. Mm. I wouldn't remember enough about it. Yeah, but at the time you were born, uh, it was disappearing, it was being yeah. closed down. Uh, you must have been born in what, 1901? 1900. 1900. Mm -hmm. And then it, uh, living here, you wouldn't have, wouldn't have seen it. Been as conscious of yeah. it as, uh, you know, mm -hmm. Jordan would be the closest mm -hmm. place. trolley car up here. Mm -hmm. I've never done anything on the trolley car, but I expect I should. But you've done the uh, um, Marchesco Station. That, yes, there's a man in skinny outlines that uh, uh, collects postcards and has historic ones enlarged, and he's got about 300 on skinny outlines. And mm. um, some of them are wonderful ones, and I want to do some of those. He'll own them for me. Hmm. One of them is the um, railroad station there, and that isn't there anymore. And this was the first railroad station, oh. which was turned torn down. And um, I I can remember it because we used to take freight over there. You you've, uh, you you know how many you've, you've sold? Would you guess how many you've done? All no, I wouldn't. Any idea? I wouldn't have any the, the, idea. What, what's happened to the ones that you haven't sold? Have you given them? Given them away or a lot of them here in the house or some mm -hmm. upstairs. But they're not historical ones, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I would say probably around 500, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. 
I'm the ones I'm sowing right here. So, yeah. And they, they, they seem to be all over now, all over the They're world, all, if one is in London. <laughs> There's one in, in uh, Portugal, too. Hmm. What, um, is there anything, you mentioned doing this house, you had planned to do, are there any others that you, you, you've wanted to do and haven't gotten around to doing, or you know, something that you always thought you might like to do but haven't, haven't done yet? Yes, I want to do the old schoolhouse that used to be in Marcellus, and I don't, you wouldn't remember, because it um, was the Heligan's place back at the Catholic Church. I can barely remember. No, I, I know, I know. Well, I've Fred heard about Griffin it. has a, a photograph of that. Hmm. And I'm going to get it from him. I want to do that one. And let's see, there's another one. Oh, the, the Powell House. Now, you must remember that. It was the other hotel here. Down oh. on the corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to get it. He's got a picture of it. And uh, I can't remember it well enough to do it without something to help me. Have any uh, commercial companies ever approached you on banks or uh, stores or company or industries and so forth that have been around the community or like in Syracuse for a long time and used to have no. you do that? They don't know I'm doing this. Huh? <laughs> well, that seems like teachers from up above Watertown. They loved that little boy, but they wanted a little girl to go with them. And they asked me if I would do a little girl if they bought that. Well, I said I would try if I can find a board that big. And so I did it, and it came out real good. But then I didn't have any little boy or girl for myself. So <laughs> I thought, well, I'll just have to paint another one. So I couldn't find a board quite as big as that, the, the ones that they had. And uh, it didn't, they didn't come out as good. And I had to fuss and fuss and fuss with them. And I put them on the wall, and then uh, people that were art people, I'd ask them, you know, what was the matter with them? Well, I finally got them balanced and got them right, and they're out there in the hall now. Can they speaking in terms of that, can they help you? Like, if you're having trouble with a painting, since you sort of paint by feeling and, and what looks right to you, could a person, an art person, can they help you? I mean, yes. if you say having a problem, yes. or what is causing Yeah, problem, you no, know, I did a big one on board about that long and about that wide uh, for Francis Kennedy, who lives out and did live out in Kansas. Um, and he wanted um, the barn on their farm at Rose Hill. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I could paint that. Well, I said, Francis, I'll try. I said, I don't know, I'll try. Well, I put it off, and he wanted it for Christmas a year ago, but I hadn't even started it then. And uh, I started it in January. And I, I had everybody on Rose Hill on that painting. I had Frank Mills going across the driveway with his milk pail. I had Bill Hunt, remember him? Mm -hmm. And uh, Harold Mills, and I had all our children, and all the neighbor's kids in there. And the apple orchard, I had everything. I even had the outhouse where Mrs. Kennedy would go across <laughs> the lawn out there. I had their washing down the line. And uh, when I hung the painting on the wall, you couldn't see the children, you couldn't see any of that. I had gotten the grass too dark. Mm -hmm. So I took a, <laughs> a toothpick and some cotton batten and scrubbed that all out. Scrubbed the green out. Well, then I took a look at it and it looked like it had been scrubbed. And I didn't know what I was going to do with it. So I called uh, Joe Centro, who's an artist here in the village. I called him over. And I said, Joe, oh, I'm in trouble with this painting. I said, what can I do to it? And he said, you've sold it. And I said, yes. Well, he said, you can't send it out like that. And he said, you want my advice? And I said, well, yeah. 
It's a third out. <laughs> well, uh, I didn't want to tear it up. And he said, start all over again. And I said, oh, Joe, that's just too much work. Well, he said, you've got it all blocked out. He said, so go ahead and, and start it over. So the next day I did. And I worked two days on it, doing, doing a copy of it. And it came out wonderful. So my grandchildren, they came in and they said, that's not the painting that you started. And what are you going to do with the other one? I said, well, Joe says, tear it out. Well, you're not going to tear it up. He says, because we want it. They were just little kids, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, oh, I couldn't let them have the painting. It wasn't good, you know. So uh, the next day I started putting the grass in on the one that wasn't good. And it came out just as good as the yeah. other one. Mm -hmm. I put it on the wall, and in two days, somebody from New York came in and bought that painting. So you just have to make the corrections on them, that's all. this place, you don't have much time for anything like that. And now, I'm, now I'm not the head of it because I can't work in it anymore. My mm -hmm. son manages everything. But I'm not sure how long he's going to be managing it. He uh, has a master's in regional planning. And uh, that's his first law is mm -hmm. planning. Uh, he probably will get a good job for too long, then the problem here will be different. I don't mm. know just why. Is this, is this your, your copy of the list? Yes. 